G'day guys, John here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to write a blog post. This thing is awesome and it's off the charts. So I'm going to show you what exactly you need to do step by step. So by the end of this, you're going to be able to create a complete open AI blog with really very little human input. Let's do it. All right, guys. So the very first thing that you're going to need to do is plan out the structure of the blog post, okay? So vitally, vitally important, all right? You need to plan out the structure because the way that you utilize AI is AI relies off prompts. So essentially you telling it to do it something. Now, what I like to do is I like to come into pop. As you can see, we've got, this is Page Optimizer Pro here. Have a link to it. It explains how you can structure all of this, but this is an SEO on page optimization tool. The best out there, in my opinion. So what you want to do from here is you want to set it up into something like this. So you want to set it up, get your titles going, get everything aligned. So as I've done, set up all my subheadings. So I have a bit of a structure for the article. Now what we want to do from here is we want to grab this stuff. Now, just as an example, this, uh, this post we're going after is how to repair a leaking pipe. You can throw that into the, GP, the chat GPT tool the open AI tool, and it will start spitting away. But it's only going to be around about 500 words long, not enough for a blog post, maybe an FAQ, but not enough for an actual blog post. So how do you make that bigger? This is exactly what you're doing. So first thing that we want to do is we want to sit there and go, okay, so how do we structure out our blog? Same as you normally do, same process. But what you want to do is think about it like this, identify leaking copper pipes in your wall. Okay. This is where the chat GPT will come into play. So as you can see, here's a full article created by chat GPT. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Would have just like AI chatbot. <laughs> so what you can do is you can start prompting the machine. So how would I identify leaking pipes in my walls so here we go this is starting to prompt the machine this is prompting the chat gpt open ai is now spitting something back to us so this is something that we can do this is how we can look at it so now once this finished writing i'm going to just copy this and paste it into page optimizer pro so here we go let's do this this is the first section of my blog that's the first section of my blog. Now, how do I identify, whoops, pasted in the wrong section. My bad guys, jumping the gun. All right, so damage that leaky water pipes can cause and why you need to fix it. Okay, now I've structured this, obviously, the, this uh, header right here, this H2, because it aligns with what needs to be placed in according to pop. So how do I phrase that so I can get the chat GPT tool to actually write an AI blog? Well, what I need to do is think about it like this. Damage that leaky water pipes can cause. Okay. So why not write it just like this? What damage can leaking water pipes cause to my home and fur? Nature. Here we go. Now, again, with AI, it's AI, guys. It's never going to be, or well, it will get there eventually, I think. But right now, in this point of time, it's still not as good as a human. Okay. So you're going to need to clean this up. But I'm showing you this is how you can use Chat GPT to write a blog post by just doing it quite simply. Okay, this is very simple stuff. Uh, I've not had to stress and uh, let's check what we've got on pop right now. I've done two sections. Let's see what we've got. Let's see how it uh, looks in the eyes of pop. If it wants to uh, spit back the results. Let's start the uh, next one. How to find the best plumbing service to perform repairs on your leaking pipes. While we're waiting for that, let's do the next one. How do I find a good plumber to repair repair my leaking 
pipes. Here you go. It's just spitting it all off. It's spitting it all off. This is exactly how you can use chat GPT to create a blog post. Okay. Look at this. Look at how informative all of this is. Essentially, you turn in the structure of your article, even though it's not stated as questions in our actual blog post, in our H2s, it's more so statements. You can still utilize this. You need something that prompts the AI. It's not enough to just pay something in because the AI will start to go off too randomly. It'll just go off in different directions. You need to be able to prompt it. So something along these lines, it's quite powerful. So 23.9, I think that was like literally exactly the same. And so let's put that one in. Let's do another one. So this is where you could also do FAQs as an example. So if you're going to use chat GPT to create some blog posts, if you're using OpenAI for blog posting, another thing you can do, FAQs, super powerful. What will leaks cost to fix? Perhaps you've researched that, the H2 is better aligned. You scrape the people who also ask. You've had a look at it. Okay, so what is the cost to repair a leaking copper pipe in a house? So let's make it quite specific. The cost to repair a leaking copper pipe can vary depending on the location. So we're actually starting to see it's quite specific. It's quite informative. So this is something that you can just throw now into, <laughs> into the actual... Uh, there you go. It's actually spitting off prices for you. So a small one is 20 to $50. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure the plumber would cost a bit more. <laughs> but as you can see, this is brilliant. This is something that can go, in general, you can expect to pay anywhere from 100 to 500 That's very realistic. That is very realistic. So now we can come and place that over here. All right, our, our blog's done. Now, if this is just a piece of supporting content, you need something to boost your overall content. It's not great on the optimization score. So now what you can do is you can start to come in and, and optimize the content. Obviously, what you would need to do is go through and make sure that all of the keywords that should be in there, the NLPs to help with the indexing stuff, all of this needs to be placed in there. This will then boost this up. But most of the heavy lifting's done. And this is how you can use chat gpt to create a blog post super easy super quick now you do want to be careful with this stuff because today it works maybe tomorrow it won't so that's something to think of you might absolutely get your site smashed if you utilize this stuff however if i've taught you something new if you now know how to go out there and create some blog posts utilizing chat gpt make sure you hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you around